Right, this is going to be a quick video on how to undervolt all of the RTX 3000 series cards. Uh, the first step is to install MSI Afterburner. Once you're in MSI Afterburner, make sure your graphics card is running at its idle state. Uh, do not have it running at like 50, 60, 70 degrees when you just come out of a game to do this. Because MSI Afterburner bakes in an undervolt uh, to temperature offset depending on the current temperature. So make sure it's running at idle temps and you're all good. Press Ctrl and F to open up the voltage and frequency editor and make sure you've pressed the reset button so everything's defaulted out. Uh, the second step is to find your target voltage. Uh, if you don't want to have to go through the back and forth of testing out stability for your card, general rule of thumb, 850 to 875 is your stability range for the Samsung 8 nanometer node. I'm going to go with 850 in this example, but if it's not stable for you, just repeat the same steps with 875. So select 850, and then you're going to be looking at the existing, the default voltage, frequency for that voltage. You then want to go for your target frequency. Again, if you don't want to go through the back and forth of finding stability, I've done it already for you for every single card. 1800 megahertz is generally where I find the best power to frequency trade-off. Uh, actually, over, compared to stock, you're going to gain a very, very slight amount of performance. You can gain more if you wanted to go from 1900 to 1950, but the power requirements uh, go like really, really through the roof. And for me, it's not worth it. What you do is you open up a calculator, or you can do it in your head, depending on where you want to go. Take 1620 or 1800, your target frequency, and ta take away it from the existing frequency. In this case, it's going to be 180. You need to gain 180 megahertz. So what we do, back onto MSI Afterburner, you go to the core clock, we add 180, meaning that our target voltage, 850 millivolts, is running at 1800 megahertz. We then press the Shift key and drag and select everything in front of our target voltage to frequency, and then pick any point on this graph and drag it down. It doesn't make a difference how far down you drag it, as long as the top point on this graph is underneath your target frequency. So you can drag it, drag, drop it down to like 1875, but just to be extra safe, you can drag it to wherever you want, down to the bottom of this whole screen, really. After that, press check, and you're done. This is, for me and my testing, the most stable way of doing the undervolts. The reason why is that it leaves you with a one flat uh, line after your target voltage to frequency. But the second and more important bit is that underneath your target frequency to voltage, it's a nice smooth roll off, as opposed to the second method, which you've probably seen elsewhere, which leaves you with a really nice and sharp roll off. It's not really nice at all. It's kind of, it's not very stable because if a card ever has issues with power target, where say it hits the 350 or 100% power target, it will drop down to the next bit. And for this graphics card, and for this graph, the next drop down in power is also a very slight drop down in frequency. So it results in two things. One, the graphics card doesn't have to jump up and down between 1750 to 1800 to 1700 megahertz. And two, you get less spikes in your game because dropping 100 megahertz, whilst it's only one or two frames in difference, will be instantly felt if it's doing it multiple times a second due to hitting power limits. Anyway, that's how you undervolt in uh, RTX 3000 cards. Nothing else to do. I said again, if you have an issue with stability, just do the exact same thing again, but set it to 875. And if you're still having issues with stability, say you've got a really unlucky card, go to 900. Uh, the default card runs about one volt. So either way, you're saving power, you're reducing noise, and you might be gaining performance. Thanks for watching. I need to. Turn the video off. OBS? Oh no.